Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mal and I'm the owner and maker of Made by Nanny and Mal. I wanted to start kind of a new little mini series on my channel where I take some old designs that I made a while back and recreate them with my current skill level and kind of change up the designs and make them the way that I would make them now. So I'm going to do a few videos here and there kind of taking an old design and remaking it. I really hope you enjoy this little series. It was so much fun to go back and look at my old cup designs and question a lot of things, <laughs> but also really exciting to be able to take those and kind of level them up. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the next videos in the series. And I hope that this inspires you to maybe go back down memory lane and recreate some of your old designs. The first cup we're going to be doing is the first cup that I ever did that was a half and half split. It's not even a half and half split, the original one, but this is the one we're going to be recreating today. And I am so happy with the new cup version. If you look at them side by side, you can absolutely see the old and the new, and you can see the improvement. So I'm really happy about that. I want this also to serve as a reminder that no matter where you are in your journey, whether you've been making cups for five minutes or five years, you can always learn, you can always continue to get better, and you can always go back and maybe you had a really great idea and you didn't have the skill to execute it. Go back to that idea and use your current skill level to take it to a new land. <laughs> I think that's it. I hope you like it. Let's go. We're going to be using a 20 ounce skinny straight for this design. When I first made this, I used a 20 ounce original, so it had a little bit of a taper. You can see I didn't even get the 50-50 half and half split right. It's like a little sliver. So for this one, we're going to make sure that we get an even 50-50 split. So I'm taking my ruler and I'm just going to mark off with a pencil on the bottom the halfway point. And then I'm going to take my blue painter's tape and tape off one half of the cup making sure that I get this as even as possible and that I get my tape lines straight down my cup. Once I've got my tape placed down on either side of my cup, I'm going to take my pattern vinyl. This is a sheet from Hobby Lobby. It's um, Paper Studio brand. It's removable and it has a matte finish. So it's not the easiest to work with, but it does work. So I just wrapped the vinyl around that half of my cup and marked off with a pencil where the excess was going to be. And I'm just going to cut it in half with scissors. It is nice that it has these grid lines on the back, which helps me cut straight. So now I'm going to remove about an inch of the backing and place that vinyl down lined up a little bit over that tape line that I have. So you can see there, there's a tiny little bit of overlap. I just wanna make sure that I have enough vinyl that I can trim off the excess where my tape lines are and keep that half and half split that I measured out. When I first made this cup, I clearly did not do that. So um, once I've got this on, I just wrapped it on like a normal vinyl wrap. You guys see me do that all the time. I'm going to take my craft knife and cut off all of the excess. I'm going to trim off the excess from the top as well and then remove all of my tape. And for this, I just really went in with my knife and cut off all of the excess. I would use my vinyl trimmer tool usually, but I was feeling lazy season. I just use my knife. <laughs> so you can see here, I'm just trimming off right where the bottom of the cup is. I'm not going to pull this down under that bottom rim or over the bottom rim. I just want to make sure that this is lying flat and that my line is cut somewhat straight. So I'm using my scraper tool to get out any bubbles. And now we've got the half wrap of our cup done. So I'm going to take a couple more pieces of tape and place it right on top of the vinyl we just laid down so that we can paint and glitter the other half of the cup. I'm just lining my tape up with the edges of the vinyl. Uh, nothing special here. Again, don't worry about the bottom. I'm just gonna wrap my tape around the bottom. We're gonna glitter that at the very, very end. So don't worry about taping that off any special way right now. I'm going to base paint my cup using Sawdad Pink from Montana Colors. When I first made this cup, I'm pretty sure I used two different base colors, but I just went in with one coat of paint for this one. It's just easier. 
And of course, I'm using my Crystalac glitter glue to apply my glitter. So I'm basically going to do a darker pink rosy on the bottom and then a lighter pink on the top. So I'm going to take a chunky, a fine, and an extra fine of each color. So for our darker colors, I've got London from Peachy Olive Glitters, Clapback in Glamour Queen, and Rosé all from PDB. That's our dark series. And then for the lighter colors, I've got Blossom from Peachy Olive Glitters, Serafina from PDB, and Bubblitos also from Peachy Olive Glitters. So if you don't have like a fine, a chunky, extra fine, just use what you have. Um, but using the different cuts of the same or similar colors is what's really going to help you blend the colors together and create a lot of depth. So I'm going in with my chunky cuts first. I started with Blossom up at the top and now I'm going in with London. You can see how light my coverage is. So then I went back in with Blossom one more time to just bring that coverage a little bit more, heavy it up a little bit, heavy it up add a little bit more. <laughs> so then next going in with clap back and I'm going to keep that on the bottom like inch and a half of the cup. You can see as I'm building up this coverage, I'm not really doing anything toward the middle of the cup quite yet. I really want to build that blend slowly. So now with clap back, I've got my cup at a little bit of an angle. I'm going to start to take this darker color up the cup just a little bit. Then going in with Serafina, which is our fine cut of our lighter color series. I'm going right over Blossom and now I'm holding my cup at a downward angle and I'm going to start building the Serafina coverage down into that dark pink as you can see there. Then going in with Glamour Queen on the bottom. You can, their Glamour Queen and Clapback are pretty similar but Glamour Queen has a few different reflex in it that I wanted to bring to this to kind of pull out the opalescence of Blossom in the lighter colors. So then I tapped off all the excess and then took Bubbly Toes, which is our extra fine, and really just built up the coverage of our light glitter. And then I took Rosé and I'm doing the exact same thing for the darker colors. You can see I'm really just going ham with Rosé here. We've got enough glitter on our cup that adding this extra fine at this point is really just going to help the blend and fill in any gaps. So there's our ombre so far. I'm gonna go in with Bubbly Toes one more time just to reinforce the blend and get a little bit more of that pink on there. So there's our ombre, much better than the first one, I must say. So I let that glitter layer dry for about two hours and then I went in with my glitter glue again to seal my glitter. This is an optional step. I always prefer to do it because I feel like I use less epoxy, my glitter moves less and it's just a step that I think is worth taking. If you don't want to seal your glitter, you absolutely don't have to. But once my glitter glue was on there to seal my glitter in, I removed the rest of my tape and I'm gonna let this dry and add two coats of epoxy and then do all of my sanding. So at this point, my cup is epoxied smooth and it's ready for my decal. I made this decal, this SVG um, in Silhouette Studio. I do have it available in my digital collective shop on Etsy. And I made the decal for my original design as well, but I just think that this one is leveled up. It's got a few little cute graphics in it, and it's just, I think, a little bit more interesting looking. I guess it's personal preference, but I like my new decal design better. For the side striping, I'm using this rose gold holographic vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft, and I'm going to layer on top of it champagne gold textured metallic vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft as well. And I feel like this just really elevates the design. It gives it a more professional look. Um, in the original design, I just did one stripe that was pretty thick um, of rose gold, just like plain metallic vinyl. So I really like this double stripe deal better. I'm also using that same rose gold holographic vinyl for the offset of my decal. Look at that holographic reflect. Oh my gosh, you can't see too, too much of it once I put the white decal on top, but I'm definitely going to need to use this vinyl by itself on something because holy moly, the holographicness is crazy. Now when I place this decal down, you can see I'm going back and forth, taping the decal down. I've still got the backing on, measuring, doing all of these steps to make sure that I get this decal placed centered right in the middle of this glittered half of my cup. 
Once I have it where I want it, I'm going to push it onto the cup just like I would a patterned vinyl. Um, I lifted up the backing and then just push the vinyl onto the cup, pushing that backing away in the process. Now I'm going to remove my transfer tape very, very carefully. And then I'm going to go in and add all of my white elements on top. So this is white vinyl that I got on Amazon. It does have a clear backing on it, which is very, very helpful for layering your decals. You guys know though, I just prefer to go in word by word and layer them that way. I don't know why, I think I just really enjoy putting decals on cups. I know that's not a popular thing. Most people hate decal day, but I love it. So I like to do it just one by one because I enjoy it. But if you wanna put the whole decal on at once, by all means, go for it. If you wanna do it piece by piece, you can do it that way too, whatever makes you happy. So I'm just going in here, I'm adding my little uh, dashed lines for my plane traveling. And for the plane and my little heart symbol I have in this decal, I cut those out of textured champagne metallic, the same that we used for the side striping, because I wanted them to just have a little bit more zest and pop out a little bit more, um, just make them a little bit special. So I'm gonna put those onto the offset there. And now all my decals are tied in together and they all make sense. In the original decal, I did not have an offset. I just went in with white vinyl and that was it. So I added a coat of epoxy to this to seal my decal in. And now I'm taking my electrical tape and I'm going to tape off the bottom of my cup, saran wrap it, and then base paint it with the same color that we used for the side, Sawdad Pink from Montana Colors. And once that's dry, I'm gonna take my glitter glue and I'm going to mix together London and Clap Back, which were the chunky and the fine cuts that we used for the bottom part of our ombre. I'm gonna mix those together and apply those to the bottom of this cup. I didn't include the fine in there. It wasn't really needed. I really just wanted this to kind of flow from the very bottom of the ombre and our glitter down to the very bottom of the cup. So using the fine cut, I didn't really miss it. I did go in with clap back by itself though to fill in any gaps. And that did the job plenty. I didn't need to go in with rosé at the very end, like I said. So I'm going to remove my saran wrap and my tape. Let this dry overnight. I think I left it overnight. And then I'm going to seal just that part with the glitter glue so it's not going to move all over my cup. Once that was dry, I went in with my final coats of epoxy. The first coat after I glittered the bottom was about 20 milliliters. And then the final coat was about 10. So here is the original cup that I made. The ombre is not too, too bad, but I did only use fine cut glitters in it. Um, there's my thick rose gold stripe. And you can see my half split is not a half split at all. Um, this was one of my very first cups that I ever did with any sort of patterned vinyl on it. So at the time I was very proud of myself, but it's really nice to see how far you can progress and how much better you get just by practicing. So here is the cup that is new and improved. There's my half vinyl split and my ombre using all different cuts of glitter and different sizes. So on this one, I used seven different glitters of varying cuts. And in the original design, I used only fine cuts. And I think that that really makes a difference in the overall dimension and the blending and everything really. Anyway, I really just wanted to start this series on my channel to show you that you will always continue to get better no matter what level you're at right now. There is always improvement to be made and I just thought this would be something fun to share on my channel. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like this style of video and you want more like this, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It really does mean the world to me. I'm so grateful for all of you and I am so excited for what's to come in the future. Okay, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. See you later. Toodaloo.